Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. So in this video, I will be creating this pretty blue eye look that you see here. And it's so pretty. And I'm just so happy to be here right now. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, then please keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I haven't done a nice cut crease in so long. So I'm really excited to show you guys how I created this look. So y'all already know. We're going to jump right in. So, the eyeshadow palette that I'm using, y'all, I actually dipped into the Morphe, what is this, the 35B. Y'all remember <laughs> them years. This is the only palette that I was using to create every single color look. And excuse the audio, my mic is not working anymore. Yeah. And I hate it. Like, I just ordered another one. But um, besides that, like I was saying... I was really into this palette and I still really love it and when it discontinued y'all know it was a big thing when it discontinued but I still have it in the colors that I'm using in this eyeshadow if you have it in another palette of course you can use that as well to achieve this look so I use that palette and the Juvia's Place palette right here this is what the inside looks like Really pretty. I love all of Julia's Place palettes. Very pigmented, very colorful. Oh, I just love it. Ooh, dropping stuff. Okay, so I did my brows, as y'all can see. And uh, I didn't do a full face, including the brows. Because when I do looks like this, these kind of looks be taking a lot of time. And I don't want the video to be too, too long. But if y'all want me to include my brows every single time, I'll do that. But I want to do a separate video on just my brows, like an updated one, because I did my eyebrows different, y'all. Finally, I just didn't define the top. My eyebrows are growing in like crazy. <laughs> so I didn't define the top. And it looks really good. It looks more natural. It's the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Concealer in 145. I'm just going to go over um, it again because it was looking a little dull. So after that is blended out and you have a nice, smooth, clean looking base, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills A5 brush to blend out my concealer on my eyelid. So a long time ago, I used to set the concealer before I apply the eyeshadows, but now I don't do that anymore just because I feel like you get more pigmentation when you don't set it because when you set it it's like already a layer of powder and when you try to go in with like the eyeshadow another powder it doesn't stick really good you know what I mean because you already have that other powder on there so I'm not gonna set it I hope that makes sense girl I'm not gonna set it and I'm just gonna blend it out make sure all the creases are gone and jump right into the Morphe palette and I'm going to take color right here Ooh, this one and I'm going to take this on a Morphe y'all I don't know I don't know it's a very tiny what's it a tiny detailed crease brush So that's the only eyeshadow I use in the Morphe palette. I'm going to go ahead and go into the Juvia's Place palette and take this blue shade right here. And I'm using the same brush and I'm going to apply this color underneath this color. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with the same Milani concealer. And I'm using a Anastasia Beverly Hills A4 brush. Y'all know this is a brush I've been using for years. I use it to clean up my brows, to cut my creases. So after I got that done, I'm going to go in with the same two eyeshadows that I applied in the crease. 
and just apply it on the lids halfway and we're gonna create you know this part <laughs> I suck at explaining things I'm gonna go back in the morphe palette and I'm using like a different it's more it's more flat the other one's round but before I do that I'm gonna just set this concealer with some translucent powder I'm gonna go in with the morphe eyeshadow first girl <laughs> what are you doing So you guys, I'm going to go in with this dark blue shade right here. And I forgot, this is another shade that I use in the Morphe palette. I think I said I only use one eyeshadow in this palette, but I use two. And it's this one. And I'm going to use the same brush. And this is just going to go above my lash line. So this is a glitter that I will be applying in my crease and this is a glue y'all that I always use It's the NYX glitter glue. So you guys know I've been really into stack lashes. So I'm going to stack these two INB, um, the 3D collection, two number 44s. And these are really long, but I like dramatic lashes. Y'all, this looks so freaking pretty. I just want to mention that this is a headband wig. If you guys are interested, the links will be down below. So now I'm going to move on to skin, of course, and I'm going to use my L'Oreal. <laughs> Baby, L'Oreal. Laura Mercier. <laughs> the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Power Primer. And this is what it looks like right here. And I really like this. And I love how luminous it makes my skin look. This is why I always use this um, primer. For foundation, I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation in the shade Toffee. And this is what it looks like, y'all. I really love this foundation. If you're into full coverage like I am, this is a really nice foundation. It does dry pretty quick, though. And you guys... I'm just going all out because I haven't done like a look look in so long, girl, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I'm just going all out, full coverage, everything. But in my next tutorial, I'm going to do a summer look, more um, lightweight foundations, you know what I mean? Less on the eyes, just giving more skin, more glow. And yeah, I'm going to do that in my next one. But for now, we going all out. I also add one drop of the Huda Beauty Wishful um, Rose Oil. I actually use this like every single day. Um, it's in my skincare routine. But I added one drop in this foundation because the foundation is pretty thick. In my highlight and contour, my updated highlight and contour routine that I recently posted, in that video I mentioned why I don't apply the foundation all the way up to my eyes because I tend to crease more when I add foundation um, underneath my eyes and then go in with concealer and then the powder and things like that. So that is why I avoid going underneath my eyes when I blend out my foundation. And this foundation, 
it's probably like one shade too light now this was my perfect match but i think your girl got a little tan because i've been outside a lot <laughs> For concealer, I'm gonna use, y'all, this is just my fave, the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect. It's cheap, it works good, it's full coverage, like, <laughs> and it's not drying as most other concealers. It's very creamy, I love the consistency, so this is in the shade, ooh, I didn't mean to get this one. I meant to get the shade 150. Yeah, 150. Y'all are really feeling the way I did my brows today. So you guys, I went ahead and highlighted and contoured. If you want to see a more detailed video on how I do that, check out my last video. I will link it at the end of this video and add it to the top of the screen right now. So now I'm just going to run my beauty blender underneath my eyes one more time. And then I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Banana Bread. Is this Banana Bread? Banana Bread Setting Powder. I'm gonna set my face with the Huda Beauty Coconut Mist right here. I don't know if this actually sets your face, but it smells really good and I know this foundation ain't moving nowhere because I tried it before. But adding this just make it look more refreshed and non-cakey. Well, we don't look cakey. I will never look cakey. <laughs> I'm just setting my cream contour with my NYX highlighting contour palette, y'all. I've been using this for years. I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush to do this. Everything came out so nice today. I've been struggling to do another bomb look. It has not been working these past few days, but I'm glad I got this for you guys. And I'm really excited to post this. Make sure y'all comment down below what you think about this look. I love it. And what colors I should do next. I'm just going to quickly highlight my face using the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter. Y'all know I love this because it makes you just look like you have that natural glow, you know? Remember the days where we used to get them pigments, those loose pigments, loose highlighters, oh my gosh. 
We'll use those as highlighters. I know, I know some people still do that and that's fine. But I used to be like over the top with it. This foundation, oh y'all. This foundation is so good. I'm telling y'all, like, it does not feel heavy or anything. It's a really thick foundation. Like I said, I mix it in with like two, three drops of the oil. It don't feel heavy on my skin at all. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off my eyes. Here I go, y'all, with this makeup. And here my nose go, getting all stuffy. It's so weird. I hate when that happens. Oh my God. So you guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the products that I used in this video will be down in my description box. Also, the link to this hair will also be down in my description box if you guys want to check it out. This is from Arabella's hair. It's a headband wig. It's 22 inches. It's a Brazilian body wig. I've been so into headband wigs and this hair is so, so soft. Headband wigs are just so convenient. Just so good for on the go a very quick hairstyle to do so if you guys are interested in this hair i will leave all the details and links down in my description box i love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye, bye.